Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the standard method for dividing decimals as long as you're dividing that decimal by a whole number. And it's really, really simple. As long as you know how to divide whole numbers, you can definitely divide those decimals by whole numbers. The only thing we have to remember is to put the decimal straight up before we forget about it, and then divide just like normal, making sure that we keep everything lined up nicely. Let's see an example. So for example, if I wanted to do the number three decimal four two, and I wanted to divide that by three, the only thing I have to remember that makes it different is I put this decimal straight up, then I forget about it. It's as easy as that. I divide just like normal. Three goes into three one time. Three times one gives us three. We do our subtraction, we have a zero here. We can't stop because we still have things to bring down, so I bring down this four. Three goes into four one time. Three times one gives us three. We do our subtraction, we have a one, and we bring the two down. Then three goes into 12, a total of four times, because three times four gives us 12. We do our subtraction, we have a zero, and nothing else to bring down, so we know we're done with our division. All we did was we put our decimal straight up, and then when we're putting in our numbers up top, we make sure that they stay nicely lined up above what we divided. It's as easy as that. Let's see another example. So, I've got 2.48 divided by 4. Go ahead and pause the video and try it yourself. Put the decimal straight up, then divide it like normal, making sure that you keep everything nicely lined up. Come back when you're done. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the decimal straight up, one right there. Then I do my dividing. I say four goes into two, zero times. Four times zero gives me zero. I do my subtraction, I have a two, I bring the four down. Four goes into 24 six times. Four times six gives us 24. I do my subtraction, I have a zero here. I can't stop because I still have stuff to bring down. I bring this eight down. Four goes into eight, a total of two times. Four times two gives us eight. We do our subtraction because I have zero and nothing left to bring down. Our answer is 62 hundredths. It's as easy as that. I put the decimal straight up and I forget about it. Let's try two more problems. Let's try this one where I have five point two five divided by five. Go ahead and see if you can solve that one yourself. Okay, let's see how we solve it. So first I'll put the decimal straight up, then I'll try to divide. Five goes into five one time. Five times one gives me five. I do my subtraction. I have a zero here. I can't stop because I still have things to bring down, so I bring this two down. Five goes into two zero times, so I have to make sure I write that zero in there. Don't just skip to the next part. Five times zero gives me zero. I do my subtraction. I have a two here, and I bring the five down. Five goes into 25 a total of five times. Five times five is 25. I do my subtraction, and I've got nothing left to bring down and a zero, which means that our answer is 1.05 or one and five hundredths. Let's try one more and let's see how sometimes it can get a little bit more complicated. It's not much more complicated. In fact, I'm sure all of you will be able to get it, but sometimes you can get a little tricked up. If I had, for example, the number 1.2 or one and two tenths that I'd like to divide by five, it starts out just like normal. I put the decimal straight up, and then I forget about it. Then I say five goes into one no time, so I'm gonna put a zero there. Five times zero gives me zero. I do my subtraction, I do my bringing down. Five goes into 12, a total of two times. Five times two gives us 10. I do my subtraction, I have a two here. Now we used to leave this as a remainder, but as soon as we have decimals, we don't have remainders anymore. Instead, this remainder we have to get rid of. How do you think I can get rid of this remainder? Pause the video and think. How can I get rid of this remainder of two?
Here's how we get rid of the remainder of 2. All we do is we say that 1.2 is the same thing as 1.20. And now if we've added that 0 on, we can bring it down. After we do that, we can solve. 5 goes into 20. 4 times, 5 times 4 is 20. We do our subtraction. We end up with a 0 and nothing left over. And our answer is decimal 2, 4, or 24 hundredths. It's as easy as that. In fact, if 20 wouldn't have done it, we could have kept adding zeros on until we run out of space. Okay, hope this helped, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.